Finn. But here's a comment from Azizul who says, there's so much talk of Adama Traore to Liverpool. Will he fit in there? If he is, will he be chosen in the starting lineup or just be uh, warming up the bench? Brackets, cough, Shakiri. Thank you. So can you see someone like Adama Traore, who's been one of the outstanding players of the season, who's turned what was just initially pace into an actual end product? Really coached well by Nuno and, and the rest of his backroom staff to be able to do that. Jose? For me, don't get me wrong, he's a top player. One v one, I believe, when he runs, is unbelievable. He's so <laughs> big, so strong, you know. So, but the way Liverpool play, I believe, you know, it's really high pressure, so much intensity. And I've seen Adama Traore live a few times as well when I went to Anfield. Uh, and it's not a player that is going to run back. And it's not a player that is going to, you know, it's a player that you give him the ball and he go against one piece one. And he can take two players as well with the speed and power. Yeah, he can do that. But in the starting lineup, every single game, I don't see him. And for how much money Wolf is going to sell him, I'm not sure about that. Gabby, you know a little thing about pace, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I'm the same. I mean, he's unstoppable. I mean, if, if he was... 20, 30 mil, I think every manager will go and get him. And you have him on the bench, you bring him on. If one of your front three, Mane, Salah, Firmino is not doing it, you can bring him on. But like Jose said, he doesn't suit Liverpool. He doesn't suit how they play. For me, he's more, I'd see him in a Man City team. If Man City, Mares, for instance, will play most of the game than Sterling. If Mares is having an off game or they need another direction, you can bring Traore off on the bench and you've got who better than Kevin De Bruyne playing them balls in through the channels to him. But I still don't see it. I see him still staying at Wolves another season and not making that move yet. You know, I'm going to throw out another name because uh, as, as someone who's watched a lot of football alongside the two of you on quite a frequent <laughs> occasion now, uh, Alan San Maximan. I think he's been one of the, the most impressive players of the season. I'm seeing some nods from Jose, obviously your former too Newcastle soon, player. Too soon. Too soon? Too soon, Adam. Come on. He, yeah, he's done very well, but you need more than half a season. And, like, the, you know I mean? he's, he's, he's done great, don't get me wrong, but if a big club's going to come and get him, they're going to want to see him do it for a whole other season. I'm sure you agree, Jose. Consistency. For, for, for me, we always talking here. For me, he's a great player, you know, to have him in the Liverpool squad as a common. The problem here, we're talking about the same as Adama, price-wise. What are you going to pay for this guy? 50, 60 million? For me, it doesn't cost that money yet. You know what I mean? If you pay 25 million for him, I would say, okay, take him. You have him in the squad. He's very skillful. He can play both wingers. Okay. But 50, 60 million that Newcastle yeah. is going to ask for. He needs, he needs another season, though. Surely, Jose. He needs one more season and, like, consistency. And, like, if he can do one more season, I think he can go to any club he wanted to. If he can play like he's playing now. For um, another season with Newcastle.